What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy. It was all. We're going to be doing a little movie review today. We're going to be reviewing Avengers Age of Ultra. No strings on me. You know, ran some personal errors today. Had some time afterwards. I said, yeah, fuck it. I think we'll see Avengers 2. See what all the hype is about. I've been actually getting mixed reviews about it. You know, my good friend Ralphie Boy over on the, the From the Hideout podcast that I've been doing. Uh, he wasn't feeling it. He didn't like it. You know, we spoke about it. He didn't want to spoil it for me, but it's almost all good. I'm going to see it regardless. Um, perfect time to see it, too. I didn't have nobody. I, well, I thought I didn't. I wasn't going to have anybody be a nuisance. We actually had a, a guy who was in the theater. He was snoring fucking loud. Sounded like the Hulk. You would think the Hulk was in the audience snoring and shit. And, um... You know, Alfonso, of course, then he wasn't really feeling the movie. He said he feels like he was sucking into watching it, just like he watched the the Floyd Mayweather fight this past weekend. You and me both, brother. But um, overall, man, I'm, I'm 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 satisfied with the movie. It wasn't better than part one, but I like the fact that they, they, these guys worked co in a co as a cohesive unit. Where in part one, of course, they were trying to fit each other out, they were fighting with each other. Even though we still get that here, and, and I'm warning you guys right now, there's going to be mad spoilers, so you don't want to be pissed off. You don't want to get mad at me for spoiling shit. Don't watch this. I'm going to put it in the in the title also. But the, the movie was sick, man. Uh, what The only part of the film that I really hated a lot was the love angle. I'm sick and tired of all these films comic book based films containing a, a back love story just doesn't do it for me guys spider-man fine spider-man's cool but every everything else i'm not feeling it man like they, in the winter soldier you had black widow throughout the whole movie trying to hook up captain america with somebody you don't need that shit man keep that shit all somewhere else. i don't know you trying to appeal to the females i don't know all i know is josh Sweden, if you would have you know, you could have filled something. You could have filled that gap with something much, much, much better. But other than that, it was a very good movie. Kicked off with action. It ended with action. The shit was crazy. I really enjoyed it. It, it was it was comedic. It was a bit too comedic, actually. Especially on Ultron's part. It got annoying after a while, but... It was nothing. You know, you get used to it. It's just a part of him. Uh, but, um, yeah, it was, it was a little too comedic for, for But uh, action-wise, it was pretty good. Story was pretty dope. Um, I love I loved that we got we already got introduced to, like, four of the six Infinity Gems. So you know the Infinity Wars right around the corner. Um, it opens up to the Avengers and... Some foreign country, Solokovia, some stuff, something like that. They're fighting Hydra, and they're hiding something. We see the the Fing Fang Foom from the Avengers One. Supposedly, it's all dangling up. They're trying to do something. They have some technology <coughs> that they're trying to hide. They're trying to figure out. And they don't want, excuse me, they don't want Tony Stark to figure it out. And they also have the Scepter, which apparently we find out in this movie contains the Mind Gem, which was a given because you saw what it did in part one. Um, it was really good. You know, they were able to, they fought, they fought Quicksilver and, um, and Scarlet Witch. But, uh, turned out because of certain licensing rights and stuff like that you know they couldn't really give the exact origin and a backstory on them they were supposedly their volunteers and they volunteered to on a project to become to have the, the powers that they have now but we all know that they are the children of magneto us true and not fanboy poser geeks us true geeks know the real backstory of quicksilver scarlet witch I thoroughly enjoyed them. I think even though the guy the guy from that played Quicksilver in Days of Future Path, he was good. I kind of enjoy Age of Ultron's Quicksilver more. I like him. I like him a lot. I like I like this guy. The guy I forgot his name, but he played Kick Ass. 
Uh, he 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 brung he bring uh, a genuine feel to the role, being that he is a comic book fan in real life. Um, he did a phenomenal job. I think I just hate that they killed him off. Uh, he died fucked up, <laughs> but uh, he did a he did a hell of a job, man. I really liked him. Um, there was a ton of action. Again, they started off with Hydra. Then you had you had. Uh, they show Bruce Banner and, and Tony Stark not sleep for like three days trying to figure out what's inside the the scepter at the time. And then Tony figures it out and then he tries to make artificial intelligence so this way they don't have to fight no more and basically retire. And it turns out Ultron came out and he just had bad intentions. He had rage problems. He didn't like being called or compared to Tony Stark. Uh, we saw Andy Serkis who I think he should have more role. Yo, he, he's a good freaking actor, man. I want to curse. He's a really good fucking actor. Uh, I could see... You know who he reminded me of? If, if if it ever came to that? I could see him playing Craven. He bulked up for this role. He looked good. He had the accent. Even though he's going to be the claw. Uh, which is fine, too. But uh, he, he had the Craven look going here. Uh, we, we, we had an all-star cast, you know, a lot of people lied to us, like uh, Anthony Mackie told him he wasn't going to be in the film, but he was. He might have not, you know, he didn't have much of a role, but he was in it, He like action-wise. Uh, Don Cheadle was in it, so War Machine was in it, he was kick-ass, he was dope. He was dope, yo. Um, I enjoyed Ultron very much, again, I didn't like the fact that he was too comedic or sarcastic. Uh, but it was funny. I remember when he was getting tired of Thor and tired of Hulk. He was like, leave me alone. But um, it was cool. I did like his his first, well, his second look. Because his first look was, was uh, uh, I forgot the, what he called him. The armor, armor something. When he was that fake Iron Man robot. The defender, armor defender, something like that. Um, but I like his second look, and then I like the vibranium look. That was sick. That was sick, dude. <laughs> Iron Man was like, you put on weight. And, and what they did with the rest of the vibranium they stole from Claw, that was awesome. They made that drill. He he, ma he basically made uh, uh, a, a handmade media by taking that country, breaking a part of it, and lifting it in the air, causing... And when they got to a certain point, when he pressed the drill, it went back down and destroyed. It would destroy the Earth, like a meteorite. Um, that was that was sick. That was a sick, sick looking um graphic when they did that. Um, we get Shield back. Maria Hill was all on the low low spine on the Avengers for Nick Fury. I love that we got a backstory for for Hawkeye. We met his wife, his two children, and his the one on the way. Um, we got I love that we got backstory to almost everybody, even though, even though you know mostly all of them have their own movies except for like Black Widow, Hulk Island. But we got to see what what makes them tick, or what they miss. Like when they show Captain America with Agent Carter, and um, they show Iron Man. Uh, Looking at all the rest of the Avengers dead, which I think is impossible because the Hulk can't really die the way they did it. But um, you know that's and that's what caused them to want to build Ult Ultron, so to speak. But um, I loved Veronica. Veronica was dope. Uh, for you guys who don't know who Veronica is, it's it's actually the satellite in space that contains Jarvis, and it also contains the Hulk Buster Mech. So that was cool. I like the way they did that. And I like the way... I like the, the ratchet punch. <laughs> he was like, please go to sleep. Please go to sleep. Please go to sleep. And then, he, and then uh, Hulk broke out of it. And then the shit locked on Hulk's arm. And then Hulk still, still had control over Iron Man. It was crazy, man. It was a really good movie. Um, I, I enjoyed Scarlet Witch. Even though a lot of people bitching told me that they messed up her powers. I highly doubt it. Uh, seemed pretty accurate to me, if you ask me. But I never seen her do a force field. Not that I recall in the books. 
I might be wrong, but I never seen that. But they got everything right. They got the hand gestures right. I wish I wish they did the the hand gestures right on the figure. But um, she's pretty cute. I don't, I forget who her name was, but she was all right. She was good. She was she was convincing. Um, what a vision was dope. Oh man, some of the technology that they used in the film was pretty sick. But they had that that Korean doctor, and she had the machine that could regenerate skin cells and heal wounds quicker. So she healed Hawkeye in the beginning, and then she, and then Ultra visit, pays her visit, makes her makes her make a body out of the machine, and with the use of the mind gem, she was able to do it, and that's how we get Vision. Um, I like the whole scene of chasing the truck throughout Korea, and how they 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 got to it, man. That shit was sick. Captain America was fighting Ultron crazy. Then the, then the other drones was fighting uh, Hawkeye and the Quinjet. And all while Black Widow was chasing everybody with the motorcycle. And I like how how the drones came and tried to take the trailer up in the air. And how she stole it to go into the Quinjet. That was dope. Um, and, and, and how they all fought um, Tony Stark to, to not do what they, what they did with Vision. Where he basically put Jarvis in, into Vision, Vision, so to speak, because Ultron killed uh, uh, Jarvis in the beginning of the film, because he he knew Jarvis was was the threat that that he had to eliminate. But Jarvis somehow survived. I don't know how, but he did. Um, is it worth seeing again? I I I would go see it again. Actually, it was pretty cool. It was, a, it was a decent movie again. I just didn't like the love story arc. That's all. I hate that shit. I hate. I hate when they do that for for movies like that. I mean, Spider Man's fine because we know in his in in throughout history, Spider Man had Gwen Stacy and Mary Jane. Cool, but don't do that here, man. You mess your shit up, man. Just just leave it alone. They could have you could have filled in that space with something way more more accurate and better. I I, I feel. Well, overall, overall, I enjoyed the film. I would see it again. I probably will, cause um, I kind of disappointed my lady. I told her I was going to see it. She's like, I wanted to see it with you, but I wanted to see it opening weekend. She she put up a fight. Fine, whatever. It is what it is. It's in the past. If she's willing to go see it, I'll go see it again. It was really good, really good, man. But um, go check it out. I give it a three. Three and a half out of five. Give it three and a half out of five. It was pretty good. Uh, I miss that we didn't see any Coulson. But uh, we see the helicarrier come back and we had the 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 buses to empty out the part of the media. Yo, it, it was just sick. All the action. The action was phenomenal. You had Thor swinging the hammer on Cap Shield. and You had Black Widow using Cap Shield. She didn't really use her batons that much. She only used it like at the end of the film. But um, it was a real good movie. I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. It just, we could have did it without that stupid love shit. Uh, the guy that played Baron Von Struggle was pretty good. Too bad they killed him. Um, damn. Who else? Idris Elba was in it. He was in Thor's Vision mainly. But uh, it, was, it was a really good movie. Um... Alex Skarsgård's brother makes a, I think it's his brother or his father, one or two. He makes an appearance. That's the the scientist. They don't show Natalie Portman and um, and who else? Natalie Portman and they don't show Pepper Potts, Gwyneth Paltrow, but um, Maria Hill's in it. She's pretty good. It's, it's a pretty good movie. So go check it out. Let me know what you guys think. That's my movie review on this bad boy. I hope you guys are okay. I know I sound monotone and out of it. It's because I am sleepy like a mother. But um, that's it, man. Let me know what you guys think. Holler at me in general. It's your boy that was the You already know. One.